Hi, I'm Ryan Szymanski, curator for Battleship New Jersey Museum and Memorial. Today, we're on board the Battleship Texas in the officer's galley. Let me start off by wishing you all a very Merry Christmas. Thank you guys for supporting the Battleship, our channel and our museum throughout the year. It's been a really big year for us rebuilding after COVID. And uh, I am looking forward to unwrapping my present. I wonder what it is. So we are on board the Battleship Texas today and we wanna talk about her sister ship, New York. Texas Battleship number 35 is the second of two New York class battleships with USS New York being battleship number 34, of course. New York served throughout World War II and like Texas, she was decommissioned at the end of the war. So uh, New York has a unique nickname. She is the Christmas ship. New York City used to have the New York Navy Yard where a number of ships were uh, built and maintained. And at the New York Navy Yard, um, you had to go under the Brooklyn Bridge, so that capped the maximum height of U.S. Navy warships for much of the uh, history of the Navy because that was such a major yard. The U.S. Navy was primarily home ported in the Atlantic for much of uh, the early 20th century. And so Battleship New York spent a lot of time in the New York Navy Yard. Oftentimes on Christmas, the battleship would be open to the children of New York to come out and tour, and they would have a crew member dressed like Santa, and uh, they would have the ship decorated, much like Battleship Texas is decorated, and they would uh, give out presents to these kids, especially uh, underprivileged kids, kids in orphanages, th those sorts of people. Battleship uh, New York, like many Navy ships, has a crew morale fund. So on battleships like New York or New Jersey, you uh, are paying into the, New York, the uh, morale fund when you buy things in the ship store. Uh, when you lose something and have to pay to get it back from the lucky bag. Um, any number of things that you pay for on the ship goes into the crew morale fund so that uh, you then have it to spend on any number of things. Um, the television in your birthing compartment may have been bought for, from the uh, crew morale fund. Uh, some of the parties that are thrown on the ship for the crew are paid for out of the crew morale fund. I heard that uh, the destroyer escort USS Vance, uh, they bought a motorboat with the crew morale fund, the, completely outside the Navy inventory stream that they just carried on deck and, and could go out and uh, sail around in. So um, the crew has some amount of discretion in buying things from the crew morale fund and the crew of Battleship New York used large portions of their crew morale fund every year to buy presents to give out to kids. And that's why she became known as the Christmas ship. It's not only the ship's sailors that pay into the crew morale fund, but also visitors to the ship. It wasn't uncommon for these battleships when they were in port on special occasions to open themselves up to the public. Uh, so Battleship New Jersey does this a couple of times in her career and uh, has thousands and thousands of people visit her in foreign ports of call or in her home port of Long Beach or in Portland during the Rose Festival. So uh, Navy ships participate in all sorts of fleet weeks and Navy Day events and other uh, ceremonies. And the battleships, particularly around the time of the Iowa class, spend a lot of time opening themselves up to the public. Uh, Battleship New Jersey had a group of crew members known as the Goon Squad during the Vietnam era to basically police the ship and make sure people weren't trying to steal souvenirs. Um, they had another group of crew members during the 80s era called the Clown Troop that did entertainment. Uh, 
both shoreside and on board when people were coming on. Part of this is because battleships uh, had fallen out of favor in many naval circles by the 1980s. Uh, so, so they drummed up a lot of publicity and support for the battleship by opening them up to the public and letting people on. So obviously you don't want people stealing your fittings as souvenirs. The ship store was open to the public when uh, they were on board. So we've got uh, records from the ship that say that they sold thousands and thousands of hats out of the ship store. Everybody wants a Battleship New Jersey hat. That's still something that we sell today. And Again, when you buy something from a Navy ship store, it goes into the crew morale fund. It doesn't go into the Navy's pocket or anything like that. So if you ever get the chance to, be sure to support our troops by buying things from their ship stores or the base store, whatever the case may be, so that it goes back into the crew morale fund. We uh, recently were able to go and visit the submarine USS New Jersey under construction in Newport News, Virginia. And when we were there, they had a uh, this ship store set up for people to buy things from, t-shirts, hats, challenge coins, you know, the generic stuff. And, and we were more than happy to buy into that. Uh, hopefully, you've already done your Christmas shopping by now. It is Christmas Eve after all. Uh, however, if you got any money for Christmas, and you're looking for some cool souvenirs and you want to also support a museum ship, there's a link to the Battleship store in the description below. We appreciate your support. We appreciate all the support you guys have given us this year. And we wish you a very Merry Christmas. Have you ever gotten to celebrate a holiday on a ship or a museum ship? I got to spend Easter 2008 on the battleship Missouri. It was really impressive having Easter Sunday Mass looking out on the Arizona Memorial from battleship Missouri. Tell us about your holiday experiences with ships in the comment section down below. Were you one of the kids that got to visit the Christmas ship in New York? Let us know below. The battleship New Jersey receives offering support from the New Jersey Department of State and also from a number of other businesses and private individuals. We really appreciate your continued support. Consider supporting Battleship Texas, which we're filming on board today. There's a link to their donate page in the description down below. They are getting ready to go into a major up to year long dry docking period and could really use the support. They also have a ship store, which goes into supporting them. And that's also linked down below. You can support Battleship New Jersey by liking, sharing, and subscribing so more people find out about our channel. Thanks for watching.